Hi everyone, this is AJ and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of What's in This Box of Forgotten DVD. Yeah, so I've got a box here that I've pulled down from the attic. Obviously it's chock-a-block of stuff. So we're going to take a look what is in here. See if there's anything good, any surprises, that sort of a thing. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is a sort of newer box of DVD, so to speak, in the, it's in the past few years I've packed them away and put them up there. So, but I've forgotten what's in there. I don't know what's in there and what's over the place, around the place and this sort of thing. But let's take a look, shall we? Now, if this is your first time visiting the channel, then welcome to the channel. If, if you're a returning viewer, then welcome back. But before I begin, if you are new, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, then please consider doing so. Hit that subscribe button, come and join the channel. I've got a wealth of other content, some stuff you might just like. So do that. Also hit the notification bell, keep you apprised of all my upcoming content. Also, if you do leave me a comment down below in the comment section, um, I will reply. Yeah. Um, also, thumbs up always goes a long way to helping the channel. So I've put this box on the floor, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of up and down, up and down during this video. Don't let that bother you. And why should you? Uh, I'll do the best I can. Let's take a look. Let's get some of this out first. Okay. So first up, we have um, the feature length pilot episode of Caprica. Yeah, the Battlestar Galactica TV spin-off series that lasted one season and stars um, him whose name I cannot recall. Um, his name's blank, there you go. You know, the original Marty McFly, The Fly of Two. Eric Stoltz. Eric Stoltz. It came to me as I was saying it. Um, and then we have seasons, well, parts one and two of the complete series of Caprica. Um, yeah, it only lasted that one, that one year, um, one season. Um, my disc just fell out. <laughs> These things happen, don't they, when they've been kicking around. Oh, there you go, I'm outside again. I am still here and I'm back. Yes, so lovely three discs for that. The pilot episode is again on that, but there you go. And uh, here now is a series that I have recently got this year at Christmas. Um, new to blu-ray but i had them on dvd so fantastic and i loved these um sean bean in sharp sharps rifles so this is sharps rifles and sharps eagle um based on the books by bernard cornwall i have read all the books fabulous books and i do love the series um, which are all based on books the books in the series themselves so yeah so that is sharps rifles and sharps eagle then we have Sharp's Company and Sharp's Enemy. These were hour and a half films, each TV films. Sharp's Honor and Sharp's Gold. Um, you've got some famous actresses in this, like Liz Hurley and things like that bobbing up. Um, Sharp's Battle and Sharp's Sword. I think there's 14 films initially. And then you have Sharp's Regiment and Sharp's Siege. Sharp's Mission, Sharp's Revenge. All set during the Napoleonic era. Um, Sharp's Justice and Sharp's Waterloo. Sharp's Waterloo being the final um, film in this series of 14 TV films. Fantastic. Um, and then, it, was, it did return for a while. Um, this was about 2006, I believe, and we had Sharp's Challenge and Sharp's Peril. Now, the problem with these is because I'd read the books, when I started watching these, it was like I didn't really get what was going on. Um, in that I felt like it was two, it was, it was two books in one. They sort of um, taken elements out of several different books to create one of these films, which is a bit frustrating from my perspective, having read the, read the books. So let's have a look what else we've got in here. Okay, I'll just take a, a, a number of them out. Okay, here's a film called Bitch Slap, which is an enjoyable um, um, uh, sort of schlock, you know, um, I don't know, just a sort of one of them grindhouse style of a film. This is made by the people who made like Xena and Hercules. In fact, 
Kevin Sorbo, Lucy Lawless, and I forget the actress's name who played um, Xena's sidekick in in Xena. They're all in it anyway. But yeah, so that's a bit slap. And then we have the complete first season of a TV series in the States called Femme Fatales. Um, yeah, I, I can't really remember what this is about. And season two of Femme Fatales. Sort of an anthology type of a, a, a series. Um, then we have Cruel Intentions 2, which is actually still sealed um, with a very young Amy Adams starring in it. And, oh, the first Cruel Intentions still sealed. Oh, they've got this on Blu-ray. Um, Cruel Intentions, that's still sealed. <laughs> Um, and then we have Puppet Master Axis Rising. Um, again, I've got all these on Blu-ray recently. Um, yeah. And then I have a nine movie collection of Puppet Master like this. Um, God knows what the quality looks like. But again, like I said, all the Puppet Masters are on Blu-ray for me. Then we have America's Sweethearts. John Cusack. I remember this being quite an enjoyable film. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm shaking the camera there. My apologies. Then we have Michael Keaton in Jack Frost. One for the 12 days of Christmas, maybe. And One Night at McCall's. Um, Liv Tyler there, look. Um, Matt Dillon, John Goodman, Paul Reiser, Michael Douglas. I remember this being quite a good film. I'm revisiting that. Classic, Jim Carrey. Oh, funny, 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 funny film. I like both the Ace Venturas. Um, and then we've got Heartbreakers with Sigourney Weaver. Jennifer Love Hewitt and Sigourney Weaver looked fantastic in this film. Gene Hackman also stars in the movie. I am still here and I'm outside. So then we have a TV series that did deserve to go more than one season. Forever. Starring Ian Grifford. Um, it's like, he's sort of like an immortal, so a bit of elements of Highlander, I suppose. But I could see why it didn't last. With a title like Forever, you expect it to be schmaltzy and this sort of a thing. The title didn't work for it, but it was a fantastic series. And then we have a double disc version of The Pretender. Um, this is two movies, The Pretender 2001 and The Pretender The Island of the Haunted. The Pretender was a TV series that lasted about four or five seasons back in the day. It's about this guy here called Jared and he could take on anything. Um, he could get the, you know, any role, any sort of um, job, so to speak. So if he needed to be a race car Formula One driver tomorrow, he could be. If he needed to be a, a fireman, he could be. If he needed to be an FBI agent he could be um, and he was chased by this sort of covert organisation um, and it was just fantastic, really really good series and these two films kind of capped it off, um, TV movies ended the series um, that is, if you haven't seen that series, it's from the two, uh, like late 90s but my god it's fantastic and here's another TV series that deserved more than one season and that is Limitless, yes, based on the film of the same name um, Bradley Cooper film. This is a fantastic TV series. And again, just cancelled. There were so many good programmes that, that, that didn't last that long. And then we've got seasons one and two of Humans. Yeah, um, obviously you might recognise her now. She's quite getting quite big in Hollywood. Um, she was in, she's been in two MCU films, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, no, no, Captain Marvel, sorry, and the Eternals, where you, obviously she looks like herself in Eternals, but in Captain Marvel she was blue, I believe. Um, season one and two of that. Um, I ain't got season three. And then a series that I really liked, um, Darren Boyd and Robert Lindsay, a UK series called Spy that was on Sky TV. Um, oh, wait a minute. Yes, there was. Just looking, because there was a series two. Um, very funny, found it really enjoyable. Um, you know, a little comedy series that was. And then we have, well, this is a new film, relatively new, and it's still sealed. Brian Cranston, Kevin Hart, and Nicole Kidman in the upside with a loose disc in there. Very good film, very good film. He becomes his carer. Um, Brian Cranston's carer, Kevin Hart does. 
Um, then we have Mila Jovovich film, always like Mila Jovovich, in a film called 45. Um, I remember that being quite enjoyable, if not throwaway. Um, then the final season of Scorpion, another great series. Only lasted four seasons, though. This is still, I have seen them all. Um, very, very good. And I do have the other seasons, but they're not in this box. I think they're on my on my um, bookcase over there. So I should keep that out to go over there with them. And then here we have season one of Billy Piper, Secret Diary of a Cool Girl. Season two, Secret Diary of a Cool Girl. Season three, Secret Diary of a Cool Girl. And season four, Secret Diary of a Cool Girl. Obviously this was after Billy Piper's time as David Tennant's sidekick or companion in Doctor Who. And then we have here season one of Fargo TV series, fantastic. Season two of Fargo TV series, again another fantastic TV series. These were superb. And then we have season three of the Fargo TV series with um, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor, starring in it. He plays dual roles in this. Um, he's very good, he's very good. We're getting close to the end, don't worry. Then we have Charlie Sheen and Michael Biehn in Navy Seals. Um, an enjoyable film from the mid-90s, silly action kind of film. Um, Michael Biehn, very underutilised as an actor back then. Charlie Sheen, I do like. And then we have a film here called Into the Grizzly Maze, starring Thomas Jane. Um, Thomas Jane, James Marsden, Billy Bob Thornton. Um, it's Jaws with Claws. So it's basically about this bear that, that goes on a rampage killing people. But Thomas Jane, I'm going to watch it. My favourite Punisher. And then we have our TV series, Dominic Cooper, Fleming. Yes, the sort of antics of Ian Fleming as a young person. Um, yeah, very James Bondy. And then we have The Attack of the 50-Foot Woman, Daryl Hannah, um, and Daniel Baldwin in that one. Very good. Next up, only a few more left. Oh, Bill Murray, Christmas classic, Scrooged. Uh, I've got this on Blu-ray as well. Um, fantastic, fantastic Christmas film. I think that formed one of my... 12 Days of Christmas last year, if I'm not so mistaken. And then I've got a story called The Plague Dogs, a film called The Plague Dogs. Um, done by like the people who've done Watership Down. Um, very, very good. Very good. Yeah, from the creators of Watership Down comes a poignant, beautifully animated adaptation of another Richard Adams bestseller, The Plague Dogs. Two more left. Oh, a Disney classic here that I love. The Black Hole with a lovely slipcover. I think it's part of the Disney Club in America. You can get it, but I'd love to have it on Blu-ray, but I have to make do with, with um, the DVD. Um, fantastic, fantastic film. Um, I love The Black Hole. As a kid, I loved it. And here's my final film here, and this is a film that I adore as well. I've got this from Germany. I've been looking for it forever on DVD. Never got a DVD release. And then a few years ago, Germany, it got one. See Thomas Howe in a film called Kid. Now, I remember this from when I was about 14, 15 years old. Um, he's like an outsider to this little dusty town. He comes in. People don't like him, this sort of thing. Sheriff doesn't like him. Um, but he's there to kill the people that killed his parents to get revenge on them. And then he like you know gets involved with this girl that's there who turns out to be the daughter of one of the people that killed his his um, family and this sort of thing. It's it's you know it's a cheap film. It's not particularly edited or you know well or anything like that. But I don't know. See Thomas Howe just oozed this sort of coolness in this film, and I totally loved it. Was on board with it. Fantastic stuff. Um, so that's it, that's the last film, and I might have to watch this and give it a review because I love this film, and I haven't seen it for so long. Brilliant stuff. Anyway, so that's it. That's, whoa, that's all the discs falling over because I've stacked them all on top of each other and gone over like a Jenga tower. Um, anyway, so that's it for this box. Um, some good stuff in there, some very good stuff. Anyway, so this is AJ, thank you for watching. Um, I have got a couple more of these to come, but I am gonna soon run out of boxes, so the series will die of death, unfortunately. Not until I get to the early part of next year and I start going through the bookcase over there that's got a hell of a lot of DVDs on it as well. Um, 
majority of it's TV stuff because at the moment obviously I'm doing my A to Z of of every two weeks of Blu-rays um, and then I'll get into TV stuff after that but that'll be a mixture of DVD and Blu-ray from from big double stacked cabinet that I've got over there in the corner of the room um, anyway so that's it this is AJ again thank you for watching hit the subscribe button um, hit the notification bell leave me a comment down below I will reply and I'll see you on the next one take care all and goodbye